The world records in chess listed here are achieved in organized tournament, match, or simultaneous exhibition play. Topic: <laughs> Game length records. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Longest game. The longest tournament chess game in terms of moves ever to be played was Nikolic Arsevich, Belgrade 1989, which lasted for 269 moves and took 20 hours and 15 minutes to complete a drawn game. At the time this game was played, Fide had modified the 50-move rule to allow 100 moves to be played without a piece being captured in a rook and bishop versus rook endgame, the situation in Nikolic versus Arsevich. Fide has since rescinded that modification to the rule. The longest decisive tournament game is Danon Azarov, Turnov 2016, which Danon won in 239 moves. In the ninth round of THT Extraliga highest Czech team league, Danon needed to win his game to make the match end in a 4–4 draw. Although he managed to do that, his team was relegated from the highest league in the end. The second longest decisive tournament game is Fresenet Kostanuk, Villandry 2007, which Kostanuk won in 237 moves. The last 116 moves were a rook and bishop versus rook ending, as in Nikolic Arsevich. Fresenet could have claimed a draw under the 50 move rule, but did not do so since neither player was keeping score, it being a rapid chess game. Earlier in the tournament, Korchnoi had successfully invoked the rule to claim a draw against Fresenet. The arbiters overruled Fresenet's argument that Korchnoi could not do so without keeping score. Fresenet, apparently wanting to be consistent, did not try to claim a draw against Kostanuk in the same situation. The longest game played in a world championship is the fifth game of the 1978 match between Korchnoi and Anatoly Karpov. Korchnoi's 124th move, as White, produced stalemate. Topic: Shortest game. Topic: <laughs> Shortest decisive game. The fewest moves required to deliver checkmate in chess is two, in what is known as fool's mate one. G4 E5 2 F3 QH4 hash and variants thereof. This has been known to occur in amateur play. Chessgames.com gives a game L. Darling R. Wood, 1983, that was published on April Fool's Day in Northwest Chess Magazine 1. G4 E6 2. F4. QH4 hash. Bill Wall lists, in addition to Darling Wood, three other games that ended with black check mating on the second move. In a tournament game at odds of pawn and move, White delivered check mate on move 2, W. Cook. R underscore 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 G. Cape Town Chess Club Handicap Tournament 1908 Remove Black's F Pawn 1. E4 G5. 2. QH5 Hash. The same game had previously been played in Leaky Mason, Dublin 1867. If one counts forfeited games as a loss in zero moves, then there have been many such forfeits, the most notable examples being Game 2 of the 1972 World Championship match between Boris Spassky and Bobby Fischer, which Fischer defaulted, and Game 5 of the 2006 World Championship match between Vladimir Kramnik and Veselin Topolov, which Kramnik defaulted. Under recently instituted FIED rules, a player who is late for the beginning of of a round loses the game, as does a player who has a forbidden electronic device by default any device. The former rule was used at the 2009 Chinese Championship to forfeit Hao Yifan for arriving five seconds late for the beginning of a round. The latter rule was used to forfeit Alexander Delchev against Stuart Conquest after the move won, d4 in the 2009 European Team Championship. The German Grandmaster Robert Hubner also lost a game without playing any moves. In a World Student Team Championship game played in Graz in 1972, Hubner played one move and offered a draw to Kenneth Rogoff, who accepted. However, the arbiters insisted that some moves be played, so the players played the following ridiculous game, 1. c4 nf6 2. nf3 g6 3. ng1 bg7 4. qa4 0 0 5. qxd7 qxd7 6. G4 QXD2 plus 7. KXD2 NXG4 8. B4 A5 9. 
A4BX A110. B flat 2 NC611. BH8 BG712. H4 AX B4. Draw agreed. The arbiters ruled that both players must apologize and play an actual game at 7 p.m. Rogoff appeared and apologized, Hubner did neither. Hubner's clock was started, and after an hour Rogoff was declared the winner. Wang Chen and Liu Shangle both lost a game in which they had played no moves. They agreed to a draw without play at the 2009 Zhejiang Lishui Xingqiu Cup International Open Chess Tournament held in Lishui, Zhejiang Province, China. The chief arbiter declared both players to have lost the game. More rarely, a player might decide to protest by resigning a game rather than forfeiting. A game between Fischer and Oscar Pano, played at the Palma de Mallorca Interzonal 1970, went 1. C4 Black resigns. Pano refused to play to protest the organizers' rescheduling of the game to accommodate Fischer's desire not to play on his religion's Sabbath. Pano was not present when the game was to begin. Fischer waited 10 minutes before making his move and went to get Pano to convince him to play. 52 minutes had elapsed on Pano's clock before he came to the board and resigned. At the time, an absence of 60 minutes resulted in a forfeit, the shortest decisive tournament game that was decided because of the position on the board i.e. not because of a forfeit or protest is Z. Dordovic M. Kovacevic, Bela Crkva 1984. It lasted only three moves 1, d4 and f6 2. bg5 c6 3, e3? qa5 plus winning the bishop, and white resigned. This was repeated in Vassalo Gamundi, Salamanca 1998. In a number of other games, white has played on after three qa5 plus, occasionally drawing or even winning in this line. The shortest game ever lost by a grandmaster because of the position on the board was by future world champion Vizwanathan Anand, who resigned on move 6 against Alonso Zapata in 1988-1. E4 E5 2. Nf3 Nf6 3. Nx E5 D6 4. Nf3 Nx E4 5. Nc3 Bf5. 6. Qe2 winning a piece, since 6. QE7 is answered by 7, ND5 QE6? 8. NXC7 plus. <laughs> Shortest draw A game may be drawn by mutual agreement in any number of moves. Traditionally, it has been common for players to agree a grandmaster draw. After playing about 10 to 15 moves of known opening theory and making no serious effort to win, this is usually done to preserve energy in a tournament. After a devastating loss in the previous round of the tournament, or in the final round when no prize money is at stake, there has been some debate over the ethics of the practice, and recently there has been a trend away from such games, with many tournaments adopting measures to discourage short draws. If the tournament officials unlike those at Graz and Lishui do not object, a game may even be agreed drawn without a single move being played. According to ChessGames.com, in the 1968 Scorpio Okrad tournament Dragoljub Janozovic and Efim Geller agreed to a draw without playing any moves. Tony Miles and Stuart Rubin did the same thing in the last round of the Luton 1975 tournament, with the blessing of the controller in order to assure themselves of first and second places respectively. <laughs> Shortest World Championship game As mentioned above, Fischer in 1972 and Kramnik in 2006 each forfeited a World Championship game without playing any moves. Other than those unplayed games, the shortest game in a world championship was the 21st match game in the World Chess Championship 1963 between Mikhail Botvinnik and Tigran Petrosian. The players agreed to a draw after the tenth move by White Petrosian. The shortest decisive, non-forfeited world championship game occurred between Vizwanathan Anand and Boris Gelfand in Game 8 of the World Chess Championship 2012. Gelfand resigned after Anand's 17th move, 17, QF2. <laughs> Shortest stalemate 
The shortest composed stalemate, devised by Sam Lloyd, involves the sequence 1, E3 A5 2, QH5 Ra 6 3, QX A5 H5 4, QXC7 Ra 6 5, H4 F6 6, QXD7 plus KF7 7, QXB7 QD3 8, QXB8 QH7 9, QXC8 kg 6 10, QE6. The shortest stalemate with all of the pieces on the board, composed by Charles H. Wheeler, occurs after 1, d4 d6 2, qd2 e5 3, a4 e4 4, qf4 f5 5, h3 b7 6, qh2 b6 7, ra3 c5 8, rg3 qa5 plus 9, nd2 bh4 10, f3 b flat 3 11, d5 e3 12, c4 f4 minor variations are possible. These games are nonsensical from the point of view of chess strategy, but both have occasionally been played in tournaments as a joke, as part of a prearranged draw. The shortest known route to a position where both players are stalemated, discovered by Enzo Minerva and published in the Italian newspaper Lunita on 14 August 2007, is 1, c4 d5 2, qb3 bh3 3.gxh3 f5 4, qxb7 kf7 5, qxa7 kg 6 6, f3 c5 7, qxe7 rxa2 8, kf2 rxb2 9, qxg7 plus kh5 10, qxg8 RXB111, RXB1 KH412, QXH8H513, QH6BXH614, RXB8B3 15.dex3QXB816, kg2QF4 17.x4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4DX4
RXH3 plus kg 844.FXG6 RXG645, NF5 QD746, RG2 FXG547, RGH2BG748, RXH8 plus BXH849, QH5 RFF650, QXH8 plus KF751, RH7 plus Ing752, RXG7 plus RXG753. QXG7 plus 1 to 0. Topic: Largest number of helpless pinned pieces. In the final position of G Chandler R. Kinnock, Edinburgh Club Championship 1981, White's Knight on F6 administered checkmate with three black pieces capable of capturing it, except that all three could not do so because they were pinned against Black's king. Topic: Theoretical novelties. The book 1000 Terra Newtons. The best theoretical novelties contains the games with the ten highest ranked theoretical novelties (TNs) that appeared in each of volumes 11 through 110 of Chess Informant. The earliest such novelty occurred on White's fourth move in Karpov Miles, Bugovno 1978, namely 1, c4 b6 2, d4 e6 3, d5 qh4 4, nc3. The latest occurred on Black's 34th move 34. KD5, in Shulman Marin, Reykjavik Open 2009. The only game to receive a perfect rating from Chess Informant's panel of judges was Miles Belyavsky, Tilburg 1986, which featured the novelty 18, F4. It received 90 points, 10 out of a possible 10 from each of the nine judges. <laughs> <laughs> National records Most Grandmasters Following the breakup of the Soviet Union, Russia has continued to hold the record for greatest number of Grandmasters. In the November 2018 rating list, 229 of the 1645 Grandmasters were from Russia. Greatest concentration of resident Grandmasters In 2005, Reykjavik, Iceland, with eight grandmasters John Arneson, Johan Hartarsson, Margir Pettersson, Fridrik Olafsson, Frostur Thorhalsson, Helgi Gretarsson, Hannes Stefansson, and Bobby Fischer had a higher percentage of resident grandmasters per capita than any other city worldwide. The city of 114,000 had, therefore, one grandmaster per 14,000 residents. Most rated players As of November 2018, Germany has the highest number of active FIDE rated players with 11,813. Russia, by comparison, has 11,313. Tournament records Topic: Perfect tournament and match scores. In top class chess, it is rare for a player to complete a tournament or match with a 100% score. This result was, however, achieved in tournaments by Gustav Neumann at Berlin in 1865, 34/34; William Pollock at Belfast, 1886, 8/8; Emanuel Lasker at New York in 1893, 13/13. Henry Atkins at Amsterdam 1899 15 Jose Raul Capablanca at New York in 1913 13 including one default David Janowski at Paris in 1914 9 Alexander Alekhin at Moscow in 1919-20 Boris Kostik at Hastings 1921-22 Bobby Fischer at the U.S. Championship of 1963–64 Alexander Belyavsky at Alicante in 1978 Sandro Mareco at Montevideo in 2017 Perfect scores were achieved in matches by 
Howard Staunton over Daniel Harwitz in 1846 Wilhelm Steinitz over Joseph Henry Blackburn in 1876 Capablanca over Kostic in 1919 Fischer over Mark Tymanoff in 1971 six sixths quarterfinal candidates match Fisher over Bent Larson in 1971 six sixths semi-final candidates match William Lombardi is the only player ever to achieve a perfect score in the World Junior Chess Championship, open to players under the age of 20 as of January 1 in the year of competition. He scored 11–0 at Toronto 1957. Vera Menchik won four consecutive Women's World Chess Championship tournaments with perfect scores, a total of 45 games: 8–0 at Prague 1931, 14–0 at Folkestone 1933, 9–0 at Warsaw 1935, and 14–0 at Stockholm 1937. She only played 43 of the 45 games, since Harem, the Austrian contestant, was unable to reach Folkestone and thus forfeited all of her games in that double round robin event. Alekine scored 9 0 on first board for France at the Third Chess Olympiad, Hamburg, 1930, and Dragoljub Ciric scored 8 0 as second reserve the sixth player on his team for Yugoslavia at the 17th Olympiad, Havana, 1966, but each played only about half of the possible games. Robert Gway scored 9–0 on first board for Zimbabwe at the 35th Olympiad Bled, 2002. Valentina Gunina won the women's section of the 2010 Moscow Blitz tournament with a 17-17th score, Wesley So scored 9 ninths in the 2011 Interprovincial Chess Team Championship, with a performance rating of 3,037, won the gold medal in men's blitz at the SEA Games 2011 at Indonesia with a score of 9 ninths and a rating performance of 3,183, and won the 2013 Calgary International Blitz Championship with a score of 9 ninths. Topic: Consecutive tournament victories. The records for consecutive professional tournament victories, 15, and consecutive super class tournament victories, 10, are both held by Gary Kasparov. Topic: Most tournament victories. As of December 2011, John Curdo had won 865 tournaments. Topic: Most wins in a national championship. As of November 2014, Carlos Juarez has won the national championship of Guatemala 25 times. Topic: Most decisive interzonal victory. The highest percentage score at an interzonal was 82.5%, 16 and a half points out of 20 games, scored by Alexander Katov at the 1952 Stockholm interzonal. The largest margin of victory was achieved by Bobby Fischer, who won the Palma de Mallorca Interzonal in 1970 with 18 and a half points out of 23 games, three and a half points ahead of second place finishers Bent Larsen, EFIM Geller, and Robert Hubner. Topic: <laughs> Most games won. Gustav Neumann won all 34 of his games at the aforementioned Berlin 1865 tournament. Topic: <laughs> Most games lost. Nicholas McLeod holds the record for the most games lost in a single tournament. He lost 31 games at the 6th American Chess Congress at New York 1889 while winning 6 and drawing 1. McLeod was only 19, and the tournament, a 20-player double round robin, was one of the longest tournaments in chess history. The most games lost by a player who lost all of his games in a tournament was by Colonel Moreau. At Monte Carlo 1903, Moreau lost all 26 of his games. <laughs> lost all games on time At the Bussum 1969 tournament, Friedrich Samisch lost all 15 games by exceeding the time control. He lost all 13 of his games at the Linköping 1969 tournament the same way.
Topic: <laughs> Most World Champions in a Tournament. Nottingham 1936 included five past, current, and future world champions, reigning champion Max Ewer, Alexander Alekin, who had lost the title to Ewer the prior year, and would regain it the following year, former champions Emmanuel Lasker and José Raúl Capablanca, and Mikhail Botvinnik, who would win the championship in 1948. This record was equaled by Moscow 1971 and the 1973 Soviet Chess Championship, each of which included former champions Vasily Smyslov, Mikhail Tal, and Tigran Petrosian, Boris Spassky, who was champion from 1969 to 1972, and future champion Anatoly Karpov. Largest tie for first 13 players tied for first with 5–1 scores at the National Open held on March 17–19, 2000 in Las Vegas, Grand Masters Jan Elvest, Alexander Golden, Alexander Baburin, Pavel Blatny, Eduard Guffield, Yuri Shulman, Alex Yermolinsky, Gregory Kadanov, Dmitry Gurevich, Alexander Strypunsky, and Gregory Serpa, and International Masters Rade Milovanovic and Lavon Altunian. Topic. Highest percentage of players below 50% in a tournament At the Linners 2001 tournament, five of the six players finished with a minus score. Gary Kasparov won with 7.5, 10, while Judith Polgar, Alexander Grishuk, Peter Lako, Alexei Shirov, and Anatoly Karpov tied for second to sixth places, each with 4.5, 10. Topic. Highest percentage of draws in a tournament At the 1999 Petrosian Memorial Tournament, 42 of the 45 games were drawn. Five of the ten players drew all nine of their games. Topic. Highest performance rating in a tournament 3098, Fabiano Caruana, Sinkfield Cup 2014 3021, Gabriel Sargissian, Zafra 2007 3001, Magnus Carlsen, Pearl Spring 2009 Note, if one includes performances before the ELO rating system was established, then Emmanuel Lasker's score of 13 out of 13 in the 1893 tournament in New York has a chess metrics performance of 3190. The tournament was Category 12 and Lasker's rating at that point was 2,749. <laughs> <laughs> Playing records Consecutive <laughs> 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 wins against Masters Wilhelm Steinitz won his last 16 games at Vienna 1873, including a two-game playoff against Blackburn at the end. He played no serious chess until an 1876 match against Blackburn that Steinitz swept 7–0. After a long period of inactivity, Steinitz played at Vienna 1882, where he won his first two games before finally ending his winning streak with a draw. Steinitz's 25 game winning streak over nine years has never been equaled. In modern times, Bobby Fischer won 20 consecutive games, all in competitions at late stages of the World Championship cycle. Some commentators give this as 19, electing not to count Fischer's game against Oscar Pano, who resigned after Fischer's first move as a protest. Fischer won his last seven games at the 1970 Palma de Mallorca Interzonal including the one-move game against Pano, then swept Mark Taimanov 6–0 in the quarter-finals followed by Bent Larsen by the same score in the semi-finals. In the candidates' match final, Fischer beat former world champion Tigran Petrosian in the first game before Petrosian snapped the streak by winning the second match game. Longest unbeaten streak 
Bogdan Lalich plus four four equals sixty six and Sergei Tvyakov plus five seven equals fifty three both claim to have played one hundred and ten consecutive tournament games without losing. Tvyakov, between the twenty eighth of October two thousand and four and the twenty seventh of September two thousand and five, and Lalich between the fifth of June two thousand and six and the third of March two thousand and seven. Tvyakov provided Chessbase with a list of games which made up his streak. The next longest streak is by Ding Liren, who, between 9 August 2017, when he lost one game in a match with Anish Giri, and the 11th of November 2018, when he lost to Maxime Vachel-Lagrave in Round 7 of the Shenzhen Masters Tournament, recorded 100 games undefeated, this streak being the longest in history by a player above 2,800 ELO points at the moment of the end of the streak. This included his undefeated run at the Candidates Tournament 2018. Tvyakov, Ding Liren, and possibly others did however lose games under rapid or blitz time controls during their streaks. Wilhelm Steinitz went nine years without a loss including his 25 consecutive win streak mentioned above, but the streak included only 32 games. <laughs> Most consecutive draws In January 2019, world champion Magnus Carlsen recorded his 21st consecutive draw in top-level tournament and match play. This included 12 consecutive draws in his world championship match against Fabiano Caruana. A journalist was unable to find records of any other top grandmaster having a longer drawing streak. Topic: <laughs> Most wins against world champions. Paul Kerrys, Viktor Korchnoi, and Alexander Beliavsky are the only chess players to have defeated nine undisputed world champions in classical games. Kerrys defeated every world champion from Capablanca third to Fischer eleventh, Jose Raúl Capablanca, Alexander Alekhine, Max Ewa, Mikhail Botvinnik, Vasily Smyslov, Mikhail Tal, Tigran Petrosian, Boris Spassky, Bobby Fischer. Korchnoi defeated every undisputed world champion from Botvinnik sixth to Kasparov 13th, and also Carlsen, Botvinnik, Smyslov, Tal, Petrosian, Spassky, Fischer, Anatoly Karpov, Garry Kasparov, Magnus Carlsen. Beliavsky has defeated every undisputed world champion from Smyslov 7th to Carlsen 16th, except for Fischer, Smyslov, Tal, Petrosian, Spassky, Karpov, Kasparov, Vladimir Kramnik, Vizwanathan Anand, Carlsen. If disputed world champions are included, then Garry Kasparov, Korchnoi, and Beliavsky share the record at 11. Kasparov has defeated seven undisputed world champions Smyslov, Tal, Petrosian, Spassky, Karpov, Kramnik, Anand as well as four fied world champions Alexander Kalifman, Ruslan Ponomaryov, Rustam Kasimjanov and Veselin Topolov. Korchnoi defeated the nine mentioned above, plus fied champions Ponomaryov and Topolov. Beliavsky defeated the nine mentioned above, plus fied only champions Kalifman and Topolov. Note, classical games, no rapid, blitz or simuls. If draws are included, Korchnoi has beaten or drawn 11 undisputed world chess champions in a row in classical games he had draws against Anand and Kramnik and all four disputed world champions draws against Kalifman and Kasimjanov that is, everyone since Alekhine's death in 1946. <laughs> Rating records. FIDE Chess's international governing body adopted ELO ratings in 1970. Players who peaked before this year therefore do not feature in rating records. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Highest rating. The highest rating ever achieved is 2882 by Magnus Carlsen on the May 2014 list. Carlsen also holds the highest unofficial Live rating of 2,889.2, achieved on April 21, 2014. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Largest rating lead. 
On the July 1972 fired rating list, Bobby Fischer's rating of 2,785 was 125 points ahead of the second highest rated player, then reigning world champion Boris Spassky Kasparov's biggest lead at his peak was 82 points in January 2000. In both the January and July 1990 rating lists, Kasparov was rated 2,800 while Karpov was the only player rated 2,700 plus, with third place being at 2,680 although the identity of the third place player changed. Magnus Carlsen's biggest lead was 74 points in October 2013. Jeff Soners of Chessmetrics calculates that in April 1876, Wilhelm Steinitz was the top ranked player in the world, with a rating a record 199 points above that of Henry Bird, the second ranked player. <laughs> Longest duration as number one Gary Kasparov was the world's highest rated player FIDE's rating list for a record 255 months, a number that is well ahead of all other world number one since the inception of the list. Before the list, Emmanuel Lasker was the world's highest rated player for 292 months between June 1890 and December 1926 according to Chessmetrics. Age-related records. Topic: Youngest Grandmaster. The youngest player to be awarded the Grandmaster title by FIDE is Sergei Karjikin. In 2002, he qualified for the title at the age of 12 years, 7 months, and 0 days. See list of youngest Grandmasters for the history of this record. Topic: <laughs> Oldest Grandmaster. Several players have been awarded honorary or retrospective Grandmaster titles based on their past achievements. The oldest of these was Enrico Paoli, who was awarded the title in 1996 at the age of 88. Apart from retrospective awards, a number of players have achieved the title by winning the World Senior Championship. The oldest player to gain the title in this way was Yuri Shabanov, who won the 2003 event and was awarded the title at the age of 66. Topic: Youngest player to defeat a grandmaster. On July 28, 2012, Awanda Liang, aged nine years, three months, and 20 days, beat grandmaster Larry Kaufman in the Washington International Tournament. Topic: Simultaneous and blindfold records. Topic: Best and worst results in simultaneous exhibitions. In 1922, Jose Raúl Capablanca, the recently crowned world champion, played 103 opponents simultaneously in Cleveland. He completed the exhibition in seven hours, scoring 102 wins and one draw, 99.5%, the best result ever in a simultaneous exhibition on over 75 boards. The best result in a simultaneous exhibition solely against Grand Masters is former world champion Gary Kasparov's performance against an Israeli team consisting of Boris Alterman, Alexander Huzman, Ilya Smirin, and Emil Sutovsky at Tel Aviv in 1998. Adding to the difficulty Kasparov played black in half the games, usually in exhibitions the exhibitor plays white on all boards. A second round was played two days later with colors reversed. Kasparov scored 7–1 against an all 2,600-plus rated team and considers it one of the peak performances of his career. Paul Morphy also gave an impressive exhibition. On April 26, 1859, at London's St. James Chess Club, Morphy played five games simultaneously against a group of masters who could be described as among the top ten players of the day", scoring 
He defeated Jules Arnoux de Rivière and Henry Bird, drew Samuel Bowden and Johann Lowenthal, and lost only to Thomas Wilson Barnes. The worst result in a simultaneous exhibition given by a master occurred in 1951, when international master Robert Wade gave a simultaneous exhibition against 30 Russian schoolboys, aged 14 and under. After seven hours of play, Wade had lost 20 games and drawn the remaining 10 16.7%. Most games in blindfold exhibitions The record for the most games played in a blindfold simultaneous exhibition is 48, set by Timur Garayev in December 2016, when he played 48 opponents over 20 hours, scoring 35 wins, 7 draws and 6 losses. Most players taking part in a multi simul 20,500 players played simultaneously on December 24, 2010 in Ahmedabad, India. Then world champion Viswanathan Anand was a guest of honour for this event and participated in the simul. <laughs> Most simultaneous games On February 8–9, 2011, Iranian Grandmaster Esan Game Magami played for 25 hours against 604 players, winning 580 of the games, drawing 16, and losing 8. <laughs> Writing-related records Longest running chess column Leonard Barden's daily chess column for the London Evening Standard began in June 1956, and was published daily in the printed newspaper until July 30, 2010, a total run of 54 years and one month. It has since continued online, and is still running as of April 2018. Notes <laughs>